Well, here at home, we have seen several house fires this year caused by people just trying to stay warm. Yeah, and even though we don't have freezing temperatures this week, we know accidents can happen. Our Samantha Johnson is live in Carmel this morning, breaking down how to keep your family safe. Good morning, Samantha. That's right. Good morning to you guys. And why are we talking about this today? Because we are coming up on National Burn Awareness Week. So we want to make sure you and your family are safe and prepared. And to help us do that this morning, I want to say good morning to Lori Baldwin with Ascension St. Vincent. You guys see a lot of burns, unfortunately, year round. Really, what are some of the most common from folks at home? We see a lot of uh, burns that occur in the kitchen uh, related to cooking. Uh, we see scald burns, particularly in children. And then um, we see some oxygen and smoking related burns and then accelerants where people are anxious to get their fires started and they try and help it along. It doesn't go so well. And if you do have an active fire at home, these can come in handy, right? We're talking about a fire blanket. How does this work? What's this about? So really simple. Um, you can keep it in an area that is near a potential fire source like in your kitchen, mm -hmm. maybe outside near a grill or fire pit. Um, some people mentioned having them in an RV, yeah. but you it's very simple to pull the tab, release the blanket. This is what's inside, and then you can easily throw it over a fire and remove yourself yeah. back away, move away, get out. Um, call for 911 for some assistance because this still may not completely remove the fire, but they're very good, quick and easy at extinguishing them. Perfect. Good to know. And what about real quick, Lori, mm -hmm. where can we get these? Yes, so you can always order them online. They're pretty inexpensive. That's the nice thing. They are mm -hmm. a one-time use, um, but then you can go to the Carmel Winter Games this weekend, and on Friday evening and Saturday afternoon, we will be there offering these to the community free of charge. Okay, free of charge. We like to yeah. hear that. And listen, we are live at the Carmel Fire Training Center this morning because we're going to show you how these work in person, okay? So coming up in the next half hour, we've got the fire. We're going to use the blanket and show you how to keep your family safe. So Julia and Julia, we'll see you guys back here in about 30 minutes. We will see you then, Samantha. Thank you. That seems like a quicker and easier, mm -hmm. less intimidating way too sometimes than grabbing the fire extinguisher. Exactly, because yeah. yeah. sometimes those aren't handy yeah. and you don't know how to use yeah. them. Exactly. So looking forward to this. Yes. Well, it